Hey everybody, Carl Kirby, Reasons for Hope with Bill Biotti, Eric Perdick. Guys, we just want to tell you about what we're doing here. Reasons for Hope has been around for about nine years now, but we have decided that we want to start outreaching to the grassroots. Who could really take these things to another level? And the guy that really came to my mind, I was, I was sleeping one night, woke up, and it was Bill, Bill Biotti. He's a guy that can build something, he's got a passion, he's got ministry, heart. Billy, let him know what you're doing with this whole Mission 442. So Debunk came to us and we said, wow, this is a great product. And Carl said, hey, what if we take that to the marketplace at a higher level? And you know, 1 Peter 3.15, let's go out there, let's encourage people with the reasons for the hope that they have. What would be a great way to show them? And we go, oh, James 1.27, it's pure, it's undefiled, it's noble, it's, it's a right cause to go help the fatherless and the widow. And so there's that element to it that is just such a sweet surprise to what we're doing. But we said, okay, well back on task with debunk. What is debunk? And we said, well, gosh, we, we produced debunk videos to answer those tough questions. Let's go video what those questions look like on the streets and at the farms and the sky rises, the cities, the churches, the secular marketplace. Is there a shift in perspective after we show them the debunk videos? And if there is, can we, can we kind of unpack that and have something that really shifts their mindset? I truly believe in my heart, God has placed us in a time where we're hearing people saying, hey, there's people walking away from the faith, young, middle-aged, old, teenagers, elementary, high school, the statistics are in. And we've come to the point where God has said to us, we're a missionary to the Christian in the church send us, we're in. And so Eric and I have known each other for over a couple of decades and I got to work with him in many ministry arenas. He was that guy who questioned everything. And when he was done questioning everything, he would question that. See, there's a difference between questioning the questioner and questioning the question itself and actually seeking out for himself what the truth was biblically and in the marketplace. So we go out on the streets and we film this. We gather the information as to the questions. We debunk it, but then there's a shift. We have to help people shift their perspective, even in the church. I said, I know the guy who can do that. And that's where Eric Perda came in. I, th I think, uh, you know, when we talk about shifting, you're shifting someone's perspective. I think it's giving the believer the, the belief that they can actually do this. Like, you know, we know that 10% of people produce 90% of results in just about every field. So most, we know that most of the church, they get saved and they, they kind of, they go to church and they'll take a class and do an outreach once in a while, but they're really not expanding their horizons you know, as far as evangelism and actually adding the body. So, you know, Ephesians 4.12 says we're supposed to equip the body for uh, the works of the ministry. And so, man, shifted for me is showing them, well, we can take the debunk bus out and we interact with people and they see the things that people actually believe. Because most of the time when we talk to unbelievers, uh, atheists, even agnostics, we get a lot of, well, what about this? What about this? What about this? And I'm, I'm like, well, that's, those are great questions. Let me ask you a question first. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm responsible for two-way conversation, right? So um, I want to show them, I want to show the body, and we want to show the body that when we talk with people, they have beliefs. They, most of the time they don't even know really what their core beliefs in their worldview is, but let's explore that. Let's see what your beliefs really are. And when the believer sees that and they say, wait a second, they don't have anything. <laughs> they, they, have no, they really don't even have a belief. They don't have anything that can crystallize or solidify or articulate. And then we come along and say, wait, we actually have good answers to these important questions. And they're the same questions. They're the same, you know, we, can, we know the top 20, we know the top 50. They're the same ones that come up most of the time. There's some, you know, other ones. But let's go out on the streets, debunk bus, interview people, show them debunk videos, get some feedback, and say, hey, what about you? What, what do you believe about this? What's your, you know, what, where does that belief come from? Why do you believe that? And, and, and what does that mean for you? And, and when, when the believer sees that and we equip them with the, with the classes or just some, some, some basic equipping, Man, now they're now I think, in my mind, they're empowered. I can do this. I can do this, and I'm going to do it. And it's not about disrespecting. It's not about, oh, I'm trying to show you how much smarter I am than you. Because I'm not. We're not. We're not. Look, we're just we're just believers that love the Lord and are trying to be obedient to what He tells us to do, which is to study to have an answer yep. and to give that answer for the reason for the hope that lies within you, with gentleness and respect and respect. Yeah. And that's ultimately our all of our hearts here. And so. Uh, Thank you for allowing us to do these things. Thank you for uh, empowering us to be able to say, look, not on our watch. We're tired of this. 50 not to 88% of the young people walking away, get involved. Most importantly, get involved. You can do something. Use these tools that we're putting out there. Use them to, to reach those that the Lord has put around you. You can do it. We're asking you to send us. 
but we want to help send you as well. Join us in this journey and help us to get to where we believe the Lord is calling us to be. Be bold. Adios.